I'm ready for September 3rd, no hand down. Yeah. Myself, uh, I'm, I'm an upcoming senior. I just turned 18, uh, April the 3rd. So, uh, you know, I'm ready to finish up my last year in high school. Uh, things been going real well. As you can see, I just got down with summer workouts. You know, we out here working hard, trying to get another state championship. D linemen in the country, how do you keep it in perspective and not to blow it out of proportion? Because you could say, hey, I'm on the top in the country. I don't have to do anything. Yep. Um, you can. It, it's actually very hard to kind of stay grounded, you know, and kind of stay humble. but. The thing is, uh, starting from my sophomore year, you know, you know, kind of being an upcoming uh, a player, if you want to say, uh, you know, I always had good players around me. You know, uh, we, we, we had some good players coming in from when I was a freshman, you know, just for me to, you know, look up to and, you know, kind of follow in their footsteps. And then, like I said, our coaches have already been through all the recruiting process. Uh, you know, he's my head coach has been to Arbor and he's been everywhere from the NFL back down. So, you know, and, uh, you know, he takes me, you know, Bible verses, you know, tell me how to stay humble, things like that. So. All right. Now. Could you explain to me how you um, show that leadership to the younger players on the team? Um, definitely, um, especially being an upcoming senior. You know, um, since since my sophomore year, I always got to watch. You know, kind of the next freshman class behind me. You know, and uh, that taught me how people used to. You know, kind of look at me when I came in. When I came in, you know, um, I thought I actually I think Coach Me kind of kind of recruited me out of middle school anyway. Kind of you know if you want to say, but um, you know coming in you know. Become be, being an upcoming sophomore, if you want to say, you know, since that freshman class came in, I understood, you know, how to take leadership and actually kind of lead. You know, uh, been starting since my sophomore year, so I understand how it is, you know, you know, for people to kind of look up to you. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, we started a new program where, uh, you know, we all get assigned a freshman, and uh, I, he's played linebacker. You know, he doesn't really play my position, but you know, he, I take him under my wing. We're actually sharing the locker now, you know, things like that. You know, this team has the right stuff. What is the right stuff for a state championship? Uh, you know, we, we just got a good team build. You know, uh, waking up at, you know, 8 o'clock coming in for workout 9 to 12. You know, it's it's over 100 degrees outside, but, you know, we don't we don't make a excuse. You know, uh, our coaches, you know, they all been to college. You know, they all know, you know, what goes on. So we're doing college workouts in high school right now. You know, we're not we're not doing 10 sprints and be done. You know, we're, we're running one team just like the college players do. We're in the gym doing abs. You know, we're in the weight room. So, uh and then you know, just you just you know, it, it, it's just a real good build, you know, from uh, from the offensive side to the defensive side. Intangibles on and off the field. Um, no, on the field, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna be an all out, you know, I'm gonna be an all out relentless guy, you know, I'm I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you that 110 percent, you know, when, when when it's needed and uh, you know, when it's crunch time, like you say, when when the prime time, you know, when when it's time to you know come out and show, it's gonna come out. Uh, but out the field, you know, I think I think I'm a cool guy. You know, I hang with my boys. You know, uh, from I mean, and, you know, it's not all about football. You know, football is just it, 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 like I say, it, it's just a tool I'm gonna use. You know, after this, I'll probably go swimming. You know, we got a passing league back at five, five o'clock. So you know, you know, I, I mean, out the field, you know, I do school. You know, I do sports. You know, sports is a good way to kind of get you through school. You know, waking up saying, you know, you, you got a game or you got practice. There's something that you can, you know, wake up and look up to. All right, now you're saying you're using it as a tool for further your education. What, are, what do you want to major in? Uh, criminology. Criminology. Yeah. Okay, why do you want to major in criminology? Um, always had plans, you know, to kind of be a firefighter or, you know, not more or less, say, a police officer, but, you know, to kind of work up to the top. You know, uh, I say criminology, but I don't mean from a, from a CIA, you know, from a forensic standpoint, you know, because chemistry is kind of hard right now too. But um, so I think I might, you know, hopefully, I hope, you know, I use this tool. Football takes me where, where it's gonna take me, and um, I plan on, you know, retiring from the NFL someday, or you know, whenever I, you know, I get out of college and just try to be a U.S. Marshal. Okay. Now, uh, talking about school, what are you looking at as far as your GPA, your grades, SAT, and all of that? Um, uh, well, first thing, uh, GPA 2.5. You know, I started my freshman year. I failed. I failed a biology class, but I got back on track. You know, this last semester was actually my best semester. I had two Bs, two Cs. So, you know, and that, that's all it's about. You know, like, like I told my freshman. You know, your freshman year is your most important. Period. Um, if you do bad your freshman year, you're gonna be slaving your sophomore, junior, and senior year. So, that, that's one thing it's about. Uh, we took graduation tests. I passed all parts of them. So that's one chip I got off my shoulder. I know I'm gonna graduate. Um, now I'm at my ACT. I take it August 11th. What are your strengths and what are your areas of improvement? 
um, strengths, I think, you know, size. You know, I came in, and I was about six two and a half, you know, 265 my freshman year. So I think I think that was an instant impact. And then, you know, it's just my God-given ability. Uh, you know, I, I, I always played basketball, so I never I never been, you know, just a, a too big, you know, no leg guy. I always had good legs, you know, good feet, things like that. And um, I, I think just my attitude, you know, I always, I always wanted to be the best. You know, I never wanted anybody to be better than me or, you know, for anybody, uh, you know, I guess you could say envy and jealousy. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, I get that kind of word selfish, but I don't think you're selfish. I think, you know, if you got to play, you got to eat what's on your plate. You know, you don't want nobody to take nothing from you. So I think, I think that's what, I think that's what it's about. All right. Now, so D in or D tail? Um, it kind of depends on the scheme. You know, three, four, I'll be playing D in, uh, four, three, uh, you know, they, you know, they kind of told me in some packages I'll be playing D in. So we'll see. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. Let's talk about that, uh, package recruiting deal. Yeah. Uh, with uh, Mrs. Wright. With who now? Mrs. Wright. Mrs. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, you know, that's one of the biggest things that um, a lot of um, schools didn't focus on, you know, quite at the beginning. Um, at first, you know, the first school my mother's been to was Auburn, and, you know, she loved it. You know, it, it was just a total blast. I've been to Auburn probably four or five times, but for her to experience it was way, way better for her, you know what I mean? Um, then the second visit was Tennessee. She loved that too. So now it was Auburn. You're going to Auburn. I like Auburn. But now it's, you know, Tennessee. You know, um, I like Tennessee game. You know, um, Auburn may be too close, maybe too far. I think she's going to move probably uh, from Columbus, you know, when I get out of here. It, that, you know, that's kind of what we're waiting on just for me to graduate. But um, that's one thing I wish, I wish schools would have focused on very, very, very close to the beginning. Okay. Now, um, early in the spring, you were heavy on Auburn. Mm -hmm. Now you're saying you're feeling Tennessee. What about after going to that Georgia 7-on-7? Seven seven? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Georgia has always been in the picture. You know, uh, since my sophomore year, I always said no, I was going to be a Bulldog. My mom knew it. Uh, that, that's one of the things I'm trying to do next is get her up there. You know, if she's seen Athens, I, I don't know what she's going to do. You know, just mean Coach Rick, things like that. Uh, um, you know, it definitely reunited the fire, you know, being being back up in Athens. Athens is such, you know, just a fun environment. And then I have a player from a year ago who just transferred from University of Southern California back to Georgia, um, f you know, f for some reasons. But, you know, so that's good, too. And, the, you know, the one who transferred, he's going to be a linebacker. So, you know, I trust him, you know, to be behind me. I played with him for two years. So, you know, that, that always counts, too. I mean, it, 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 it definitely some things to look at. You know, uh, for Georgia, I don't see any negatives. I, I'm kind of going to look at, you know, kind of kind of from a perspective of, their team success, you know, uh, how they do this year, you know, is Coach Rick going to be there? Is, you know, is, is all the coaches stable? Um, I like who they brought in, you know, I like the new defensive coordinator, you know, I like I like the coaching staff, but that's what it's going to be based on. All right. Speaking of Jarvis Jones, now, just because he went to Georgia, does that mean, all, since y'all were here sophomores when he was a senior, mm -hmm. does that mean, like, the whole team is going to go to Georgia now? Well, I wouldn't say it's going to be a, a train reaction, but if you knew Jarvis, if you knew him personally, like you would definitely trust him. You know, uh, Jarvis is one of them guys who could have been the captain since his freshman year. Just he walks in the room, you know, hey, you know, what's up, what's up, Jarvis? You know, uh, that's kind of what I don't. It, it, that's kind of just how he been his whole life. You know, he was an All-American basketball player, All-American all football player. So, you know, Jarvis kind of had it all. But the thing, the thing that we learned to take from him is he stayed humble. You know, he never put himself over anybody. He'll, he'll, he'll come to work us on time. He won't miss any. If he missed any, he would take him visits or, you know, things like that. He wouldn't just sit at home, uh, you know. And it's funny, you know, you never hear him cuss. You never hear him. He just, he never seems, you know, he, I guess, you know, uh, like they say, you know, when you're in the wrong place, kind of at the wrong time, you know. Uh, but you, you, you just never catch that with Jarvis. But um, it's definitely going to help that he's at Georgia, somebody I can trust. Okay. Okay. Now, on uh, paper, Georgia has a uh, – what a dream team would oh, look yeah. like to them. Yeah. What would the dream team look like to you? Dream team for Georgia. Well, for you, your oh, for dream. Me? Who oh, would you man. want on your dream team? I actually did a dream team with, with coaching staff and players. Uh, uh, a quarterback, I think I'll take. Uh, I can't. I can't remember his name. He he, he committed to Auburn. Uh, can't remember his name. I will take him and I will take uh, C J. CJ, Uzma. yeah, who's my? Uh, I don't know who's gonna play in college, but you know he's a, he's a big guy. You know I know he can work at it. At running back, I definitely take Isaiah, man. It's just it's not a guy who who's an all-purpose back like that. Who can catch, run, you know, uh, block everything. You know, uh, um, and from O line, I take my O line. We're probably going this is probably gonna be the first class to have all seniors starting on O line. Um, it may not be good for 2012, but um, hey, it look, I mean we we're, we're trying to get another state championship, definitely. Um, 
D line. I take Ray Drew down to Thomas Thomas County Central. Um, you, know, you know, myself at D tackle. Uh, nose guard. I take my guy. Linebackers. I take another guy, Mike Davis. We have from from Demopolis, Alabama. Um, James Walters from Tucker. You know, uh, if I could really make my team, I think I, I believe in Georgia. You know, saying saying that dream team. If Georgia would actually come together and stay in state, I think we'll be unstoppable. You know, you always hear Florida, Texas being you know the powerhouse of states, but we definitely got some good teams. We definitely got some good players around.